Tank Agira where she spawns. Tanks should have their backs to the wall and the rate should spread a bit, but somewhat close to the boss. The tank mechanic is vicious swings. She'll hit her current target and the closest target to that player, so tanks should be close to each other. The taunt swap mechanic is drenched blades. Taunt swap after around 6. Random players will get a blistering spear. Spread these out behind the raid. Once it goes off, those players get tethered by a spear, so DPS should kill the spear. She faces a random player and casts twisting blade. Just dodge it. At 100 energy, Agira will deal a burst of raid damage and knock the raid back. There are now three large circles and your raid needs to soak one of them. And once it's soaked, a few seconds later, sparks will fall on that location, so your raid needs to move. Soaking the Hacking Torment, which is the left one, will have the boss cast Umbral Destruction on the tank. It's split damage, but puts a brutalizing debuff, not allowing players to soak again. So half your raid soaks the first, then the other half soaks the second. Soaking Slicing Torment, which is by the entrance of the room, will make Agira cast Slashing Visera. This targets a random player and your raid just needs to dodge it. On Heroic, waves come out of the smashing locations, so it's just more dodging. The Flaying Torment is soaking the weapon on the right side of the room. This one puts a healing absorption on players that needs to be healed off within 15 seconds. On Heroic, when Heartstopper is healed off, Vital Ruptures will appear off the targets that just need to be dodged. 